Hey entrepreneurs, it's Sam Day here from Day Tips and in this video, I'm showing you an alternative to using Shopify or WooCommerce or any other platform to build your website. So this video is kindly sponsored by Shop Plaza. They wanted me to introduce you to their platform, show you some of the pros to using it and help you to make an informed decision of whether or not it's a platform for you. So I'm gonna jump onto my computer and show you how it works, show you some of the ins and outs and hopefully you can make an informed decision. So I'll leave links to Shop Plaza in the description down below as well as where you can get a discount code so make sure you make use of that. So this is what Shop Plaza looks like when you go to their website. I'll leave a link somewhere on this screen and in the description down below so you can go and test it out as you can see you can actually start a free trial. So there's no money up front you have to pay. I highly recommend if you're looking for an e-commerce solution, then try it out, test it during the free trial, see if it's a solution for you, see if it's intuitive. I always recommend uh, that people go for a platform that they can actually utilize, that they can make the most of. There's no point in creating a, a, a you know, really uh, extravagant website on a platform that you don't understand how to use because when you need to make small changes, it's gonna be really difficult for you. So when you come here, literally all you need to do is click on the start free trial or the sign up button and it will allow you to sign up easily. Um, so I kind of just want to show you a little bit of an overview of what Shop Plaza can do. Um, it's very intuitive. So once you get inside it yourself, uh, you should have a play about and uh, kind of see how to utilize different things. So once you sign up for an account, this is the first page that you should see where it says get started um, and you can import your products. So if you already have products already, um, then you can import those products. Um, so I'm gonna actually click on the import products button just so that you can kind of see uh, how it might work. It prompts you to actually install uh, SKU owner. And with this app is free to install. It, uh, it will read your product variants, modify your product variants and collections and your orders as well. So I highly recommend installing that if you are someone who needs to upload your products. I've already got it installed, so I'm going to cancel that step. Um, but if you go to products uh, within Shop Plaza, which we're going to do soon, then you'll see how you can actually uh, in, import your products. You can also customize your theme as well. So if you select customize theme, then uh, it will give you uh, loads of different themes that you can utilize to potentially change the look and feel of your Shop Plaza website. So depending on what products you're using, you're going to want to choose a theme that really complements your products. Um, and you can customize your theme here as well. So if I click on that customize button, it takes me to the inside of my website and the back end where I can actually edit my my um, my website. So um, as you can see, I've got two pages here as well. Um, at the moment, I'm going to show you how to add pages quickly and easily. But I have a home page and I have a new arrivals page. And uh, what I can do at the moment, I'm on the home page because you can see up here, it says home page. And if I scroll down this left hand side here, this allows me to edit any aspect on my page. So for example, if I wanted to change where it says new arrivals, uh, then I can uh, find where it says new arrivals here. I can click on that and I can change this to, for example, say new products. And as I'm updating it on the left-hand side, it updates on the right-hand side here as well. Um, so any changes I wish to make, uh, I can simply and easily make uh, here. Uh, even this product, uh, product uh, grid here, I can make changes on the left hand side and update these products, uh, add images, for example, um, uh, I can select collection, add headings and so on and so forth. So it's really quite simple and intuitive to make simple edits and changes to your site. And when you're finished, you can save your draft. Uh, you can also see how it looks uh, on a mobile device as well and on a desktop device. And then when you're finished and you want to publish, you can simply click the publish button. You can also come here and you can edit the code on this page as well. If you if you wanted to uh, manually edit code, you can edit the language uh, and you can actually view store as well. So if I click on view store, then this is an example of what my store currently looks like. So you're going to want to interchangeably 
be viewing your store so you know that it actually looks how you want it to look. I wanna go back here and you can add a domain. So if you already have a domain, uh, a www dot that you've bought from somewhere, then you can actually add your domain here and you can set up your shipping uh, details quickly and easily and also your payment options as well. So this is kind of a quick setup guide that Shop Plaza have for you, but you can access all of this and more on the left-hand side options as well. So when you go into your overview, this allows you to see uh, some of the statistics on your website. So you can see your website visitors, your orders, your sales, and your conversion rates. So this is obviously going to be really important data that you can utilize to improve how well your shop uh, converts visitors into customers. You can also go into your orders and this is where you can manage uh, the back end of your orders. So you can see the orders that have, been, that have not been fulfilled yet. So you haven't sent them out yet. You can also see your abandoned checkouts. So these are people who have not yet uh, checked out, but they've abandoned their cart. So you can see those people in here. After sale as well. So this allows you to see your after sales data. And if there's any PayPal disputes, you can see them within here as well. Um, so that makes it really simple and easy for you to, uh, you know, manage any PayPal disputes that there might be. So in your products, uh, as we were mentioning, uh, you once you install the free app to allow you to import your products and when you click on all products uh, it will give you the option within your settings so i have an option to import and as you can see you can actually import templates so if you don't have the uh, the template to import products to shop plaza you can da import that uh, download that template put your products uh, make sure that your products fit that template and then you can add that to shop plaza to easily import some of your products. You can also import directly from Shopify. If your products are currently listed on Shopify, then it makes, it makes it easy for you to do that. And you can create your products manually as well. So if you want to create your products one by one, then you can do that simply by clicking on the create product button, fill in all of the information, make sure you include your keywords in the key places, especially in the SEO settings here. Shop Plaza have uh, some fundamental SEO tools and settings here, which I may cover hopefully in a future video, but you wanna make sure that you fill out all of this information as much as possible so that number one, search engines can see it, but also it entices your potential customers to make a purchase as well. So when it comes to collections, you can actually create collections to help to organize the products on your Shop Plaza website. So obviously you want a title, you also want a description, and you can have an image for your collection as well. And these collections also have uh, SEO settings too. So you wanna make sure that you optimize these collection details for the search engines as well, because these collection pages may actually find their way within the natural search results in Google. So you can also add product filters, either automated or manual. So you can manually add items to this collection you're creating or you can create rules that allow your products to automatically uh, go to the relevant collection. Um, and this is really good as well if you're someone who forgets to add products to a collection that could potentially cost you money and make your site a little bit unorganized. So if I click on add condition, then it will take me into here where I can actually add an automated condition. So it could be based on a product title, it could be based on product price and much more variations. But let's say for example, I wanted to do product price. Uh, every time a product is equal to, for example, $100, then it will be added to this particular collection and I can add that filter there. So obviously that's just an example, but whatever filters you want to add uh, to make sure products automatically go where they need to go, you can add that and then click on the confirm button. So in reviews, you can manage all of your reviews as well. So this is a great place to see what people are say saying about your products um, and you can publish those to your site. And product feed is really important as well, particularly if you want to add your products to Facebook or to Bing or to any other platform, here is where you will get your information for your product feeds. Um, and then in customers, you can manage all of your customers, you can manage all of your email subscribers as well. Uh, email marketing is very important as part of your overall strategy to drive customers to your Shop Plaza store. So you're going to want to make sure uh, that you are adding people to your email list 
Uh, and you can do that here with, within the marketing section as well. So within the marketing section, there's loads of options, including uh, promotions on Facebook. You can have uh, time limited promotions, for example. You can manage your abandoned cart email, so you can set that email up here. And also you can manage your email marketing in here as well. Uh, so you can send an email or you can, uh, you know, create your email marketing strategy. So if I go in here and I go to collect customers email addresses and I manage these settings, then I can actually create a pop up for my store. You may have seen this in stores as, as well. When you go to and visit a store, you see a pop up that offers 10 percent off or subscribe to the newsletter in return for an email address. Now, this is really important because it's known as a lead magnet. And when someone enters their name and email, they will then go into your shop plaza customer emails or leads emails, and you can send them promotions. Maybe it's Black Friday or Christmas or whatever promotion uh, you currently have on your website. Um, this is a really great feature that can help you to get people signed up to your Shop Plaza email uh, list. And you can also view all of your analytics. If you go to analytics, you can see the data. So you can see some real time data in terms of who is visiting your website, top countries, customer behavior, top products and top pages. So this is really important. You want to make sure you're analyzing your data frequently so you know where you can make improvements on your store. Um, you can also add blog posts, and this is something that I see a lot of e-commerce business owners overlooking is the ability to create articles. So Google, for example, they don't rank entire websites. They rank individual web pages. And the more pages that you have on your website, the more opportunity you have to be found in the search engines for a different keyword. And a great way to produce new pages regularly is to blog about topics related to what you are selling on your Shop Plaza website. So if you click on create blog, again, you can enter the, the title, an excerpt and some content. And just like every page, you can edit the SEO settings here as well. Hopefully I get to go into, uh, on, into this uh, in more detail in a future video. But if you do have any questions about SEO, then do let me know in the comment section. But also when you go to store, here is where again, you can change your theme. Uh, and you can also manage and create some of the pages on your website as well. And you can also manage and manipulate the navigation. So at the moment, I have two default menus, a main menu and a footer menu. And I can click this little pencil icon here to edit my menu. I can give it a, a name. I can edit the name uh, of my menus as well. Um, and I can add new items and I can add a, a secondary item as a sub menu as well and I can delete this so let's say I didn't want this sub menu here I can delete that um, and if I wanted a sub menu underneath where it says home page then I can add a secondary menu there um, and I can link this to something or I, uh, to a specific URL or I can have it um, as no link or link to a page or a blog or whatever I want this to link to. So within apps, you can actually add uh, apps to your Shop Plaza store as well. So in my apps, that will show you the apps that you already have. And in the app store, these are some apps that you can utilize to help to make your store even better. As you can see, there's some marketing apps. I've got MailChimp here. Uh, I've got the Facebook pixel uh, here, which will help you to with your Facebook advertising and so on and so forth. Um, and there's also some store design apps as well. So custom code, multilingual settings. So have a look and see if there are any apps that you feel will help to make your site that much better. So this is just an, a general overview of Shop Plaza. Some of the things that you can do, like I said, I highly recommend going in, playing with it yourself and start in the free trial and see whether or not it's a platform that you want to utilize. So that gives you a little example of how Shop Plaza works. I'll leave links to their platform in the description down below. You can also find my coupon code as well where you can get a discount. So all of the information will be in the description as well. They also give you a free trial so you can actually go and create a website for free, test it out, see if it's the platform for you. But I really do hope that this video brought you a value and I also have the formula guys. This is the free guide to generating leads and sales for your business online. As you can see, there's a copy next to me. There's also a copy 
somewhere on this screen and in the description down below as well. So make sure you go and grab your copy absolutely free and it's going to help you to boost your online earnings. But I really do hope that this video brought you value and if it did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.